hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking water is being trans uh, water is being heated in a close pan on top of a range while being stirred by a paddle wheel during the process 30 kJ of heat is transferred to the water and 5 kJ of heat is lost to the surrounding air the paddle wheel work amounts is 500 newton meter determine the final energy of the system if the initial, initial energy is 10 kJ. So let's see how we can do this. But before we approach this question, we have to know these three, the, these things. Like when we add heat, so add heat is positive. When we uh, lose heat, it's negative, right? And Add work to the system. It's equal to negative. And work done by the system. By the system. Is positive. So these are the things we have to know. So from this information we can calculate these uh, values right here. So first of all, let's calculate the heat, uh, total heat right here. So we have added three, 30 kilojoules, right? So that's going to be positive 30. And then uh, we lost five kilojoules of heat. So this is going to be negative, right? So we will get 25 kilojoules of total heat. Then uh, if we see work done to the system, so work uh, done to the system that's negative added work to the system negative so w is going to be negative this is uh, in if you newton meter is equal to joule so we, here we are dealing with kilojoules right? so we have to convert this one into kilojoules so that's going to be negative 0 0.5 kilojoule right so we have this one right here. So now we are going to apply first law of thermodynamics. So first law of thermodynamics. So according to that, uh, Q is equal to W plus delta U, right? U is internal energy. So this delta Q and so from this one we can calculate this uh, final energy right here. So let's apply all the values. So here we have Q that is 25 kilojoule and work done uh, W. We calculated total W that is negative 0 0.5. Then we have delta Q. Delta Q is Q, uh, Q2 minus Q1 u1 is provided that is 10 right here initial energy and final energy u2 is we are trying to find okay let's uh, calculate these values let's bring this one to the other side so this is going to become 25.5 equal to u2 minus 10 and therefore u2 is equal to 35.5 right that is our final answer for this question and that's how it's done and it's in kilojoule right it's in kilojoule and that's how it's done i hope you guys like this video see you next time